What's up, everybody? Ben Razzi here for Odd Chopper talking all things college football. The playoffs may be in the books, but there's still big time bowl games here on Monday, January 2nd. And over at No House Advantage, there is money to be made. We're going to look at the lines, examine the player props, and build out a card that we hope cashes the ticket. This is what we do here at Odd Chopper all things betting, free content. If you like what you see, you're enjoying the videos, hit that like button, subscribe to the channel, be part of the community in 2023. Let's dive in to what we got going on. I'm going to show you how to get a big-time deposit bonus as well. Here we go. See the four games above. My first prop, I'm going to go to the third game. Again, they're pretty early games, so make sure you get on this. With LSU quarterback, obviously a guy that's made big strides this year, someone that we're going to see uh, certainly going forward for them, and it's Jaden Daniels. He's mobile. He can do a lot of things, cause a lot of problems. I'm going to go over 278 and a half passing yards in this spot against this Purdue defense. First off, let's get to Purdue's defense. That's why I'm going there. They're just bad. They've struggled immensely at times, and they've played a lot of bad offenses in the Big Ten. Now they draw LSU in this passing attack. 7.5 yards allowed per attempt. That's 85th in the country. Daniels is one of the more dynamic players that we they have seen. Now. When I look at the line, it feels about right. But again, one of the great things about No House Advantage, we have tools right on the site. Our projections, our player prop projections can kind of glean us insight into what we want here. And to me, looking at this number, I think there's plenty of room in what could be a very competitive game where LSU was throwing early and often and they clear this spot. I've got where I think those passes are going in just a second. But for my first prop on the board, Jaden Daniels, over 278 and a half passing yards today. All right. If you are unfamiliar, if you're checking out this video, you say, this is pretty cool. I don't know about the site. This is No House Advantage. NoHouseAdvantage.com. Check it out. What you're doing, you're going, you're building out cards over, unders, different player projected stats. If you three, four, five together, if you hit them all, you're going to be getting that multiplier payout. That's the beauty of it. I'll show you guys that at the end but that is what they do and to get you started use the promo code stochastic the link in the description of this video what you want to do go down there you're going to see all the different offers all promos all deals it's a great place to start new no house advantage users promo code stochastic a first deposit bonus of up to hundred dollars so right off the bat you're going to get an infusion of cash to play obviously when you're playing a new site even though this is one uh, that has been around and certainly is growing you want to wade into the waters. You don't want to just go all in with all your money. That's why they give you that deposit bonus. It gives you a chance to really see what they're about, see the different game types, learn the format, and see how our tools can help you make money over there. It is that simple. Let's get another prop on the board. Daniels, two, Malik Neighbors. This is a, a spot that, again, I think if you're going to string them together, this is where I'd want to look. Over 76 and a half receiving yards for Neighbors in this spot. The sophomore receiver had a pretty damn good campaign. 63 for 854 and two. Five catches, a buck 28, and a touchdown against Georgia in that championship game to close the year on a nice tear. Seven for 129 against UAB. Seven for 69 in another game. Really, really has been active. Certainly with some of, you know, like Boutte not being there. Daniel should be looking to him early and often. A talented guy, obviously uh, one of the focal points of the offense. And again, all the reasons that I like the over on the passing yards, clearly that helps the receivers. And clearly Purdue's secondary is a spot that I think is worth attacking. So it makes it's an easy sell to see why I'd like the over on some of the LSU pass catchers. And neighbors comes to mind right off the bat. 76 and a half receiving yards just isn't enough if this game stays competitive. If Purdue jumps out to a lead, there's a million different factors that could give him a boost in production, a boost in usage, and ultimately. Uh, a boost on that stat line. But even without that, I'm going to call for him to flirt more with the century mark uh, than to clear 76 and a half receiving yards. So we've paired up the overs in these two LSU uh, teammates here. I will get to the third in just a second, but I will say again, quick shout out to the link in the description. If you want to sweat out these games with us, Insider Access, aka our Discord, the link is right there. Even if you just click it and check out what's going on. It's 100% free for a week. So it's not like you're paying anything. It's not like you're losing anything. It's not like you're, you're taking this big plunge. Come in for the week and then make a decision. Uh, when you sign up, say what's up once you enter. Okay. Last game. 
Got to go to the Rose Bowl. Come on now. It's a competitive game too. Penn State and Utah, certainly two worthwhile teams. Uh, and we've seen this, and Utah has answered the challenge time and time again in big-time spots. I'm more focused on the Penn State side, particularly with Mitchell Tinsley, another receiver and another one that I'm going over. It's been a theme on these videos that we've had some good success of going over in these bowl games. I think new opportunities, opt-outs, things like that have provided uh, the spots to really take advantage of, of some you know, receiving yards props or passing yards props or rushing yards props that just aren't set high enough. And I think Tinsley is a decent example of that. You've got Washington in the portal. Tinsley comes over. He was a transfer himself early in the year, 55, 528, and 4. You know, it's not a, a prolific passing attack with Penn State, but at the same time, there's a lot of games that they played that they didn't even need to throw. You know, they're gearing down against Michigan State and Rutgers and teams like that, uh, and Illinois strong defense. They play a lot of these tough, grinded out games in the Big Ten. This is more a chance for them to be more dynamic against the Utah team. That's certainly on paper at times looks scary, but they are not. 90th in passing yards allowed per attempt. So they struggle. They're even worse than Purdue. And Purdue's a defense I think we can really attack. There's no reason when I look at this that whoever's playing quarterback, whether it's Clifford or they platoon here and there, somebody should be throwing the ball for Penn State and I think throwing it pretty effectively. Mitchell Tinsley should be one of the main beneficiaries of that. And this is a pedestrian line, 52 and a half receiving yards. We're not saying 95. We're not saying 82. This is, you know, even if there's a couple hundred passing yards in this spot for Penn State, can he grab a quarter of them? I think the answer to those questions is yes. I think there are some situations where Penn State vastly exceeds uh, what most people project them through the air, and that will directly benefit a guy like Tinsley. So he is going to be the third player in this video in our card for No House Advantage. Last thing before I go. Just hit that expand button. I'm going to show you what we're working with here. Okay. You see it right there on the screen. This is the beauty of it. We're going to go for the traditional, try to make it three for three for that 5X. But you have options over at No House Advantage. You want to add another one in? 11X. Two more 21X. Uh, big time payouts, big time opportunities. And again, with our tools here and that promo code of Stochastic, a great way to get in the door, get some cash, and hopefully build that bankroll. There you have it, everyone. It's a new year, and I hope. But everything is off to a great start. No matter what you're doing, no matter what you're betting, just have a great time. Enjoy the college football today. And of course, stay tuned for even more content each and every day here at Odd Chopper. Good luck. Enjoy. And as always, I'll talk to you guys soon.